Good morning, Willowbrook. Today's devotional passage is in Exodus chapter 12, verses 21 through 28. Now we know from previous chapters that this is about the 10th plague on Egypt and what the Israelites are to do to save themselves from what's about to take place. The Lord has spoken to Moses and he's given him very detailed instructions on how to avoid this plague. So Moses gets the elders together and relays all that God has told him. They are to select a perfect lamb, one without blemish, and they are to sacrifice the lamb and with hyssop branches spread the lamb's blood on the top and both sides of the door frames to their home. No one was to go in or out of the house until morning. And the Lord will see the blood on the door and he would not allow the angel of death to enter the house and strike them down. Also, obey these instructions as a lasting ordinance for you and your descendants. When you enter the land that the Lord will give you as he's promised, observe the ceremony, and when your children ask, what does this mean? Tell them it's the Passover sacrifice to the Lord, who passed over the houses of the Israelites in Egypt and spared them when he struck down the Egyptians. Then the people bowed and worshipped, and they did just what the Lord had commanded. Now that's our passage, so let's dive a little deeper. The Lord gave all these instructions to the people of Israel on how to be saved that night. But God didn't need all of the doors to be marked with blood to tell who was who. I think that these instructions were more about faithfulness and obedience to God. He needed to reaffirm to the people that in order to be saved, there must be a blood sacrifice. The lamb had to be perfect and it had to die. Sound familiar? The blood on the door was a sign of faith, not just for the destroyer to see, but for all to see that they had faith in God's word to Moses. So the lamb must be perfect, the lamb must be killed, and the blood must be applied. Now God wasn't concerned with who or what kind of people were behind the blood-covered door frames. God was only looking for the faithful and obedient that trusted that the blood of the lamb would save them. And nobody could boast because all who were saved did the same thing. They applied the blood of the Lamb. Our passage goes on to tell the people to obey these instructions as a lasting ordinance. And when your children ask, tell them it's the Passover, the night we were spared from death. It's the Old Testament version of the Lord's Supper. Do this to remember. Teach your children to remember so they can teach their children. Moses, just like Christ, is saying, never forget what God has done for you. Now this is a great story of how Israel was saved by the blood, how they were spared from death by faith and obedience. It's also a wonderful illustration of the way we have been spared by Christ's work at Calvary. I really like in verse 27 where he says, he spared our homes when he struck down the Egyptians. Then the people bowed down and worshiped. Just like the Israelites, I'm very thankful for the blood that was shed for me. I'm also very thankful for the many times that I was spared that I didn't even know about. A sickness that never happened, a door that never opened, an accident that he prevented or a mistake he kept me from making, a relationship or maybe a path that was blocked. You see, God loves us so much that he withholds things that we think we need, but he knows that we don't. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 says, Be joyful always, pray continually, and give thanks in all things. So this morning, let's give thanks for all the things that God has spared us from. Have a great day, Willowbrook.